control the river for the final Kenny. time. Watch Kenny. Maybe Kenny. Kenny. Rolls the wall of the night. He's playing the equalizer. He's on so many. Trying to sign away, away, but he just can't do it. Shut down a pack sack. The team fight is massive, and you just can't fight in corridors like this. Chaser dies, and Rio is not long for the world. I'm alive for Nevis, and Jerobo's in trouble. Some stability on this one. She's got the zone. She's just going to go for it. No, she's actually looking for the Akali. Now his current one gets popped. Looking for the Akali here. No shot available. Clear. It's flashes everywhere. Crime people going to be on the other side of the wall, making sure they can avoid the melee from more boss Justin. As now the temporal fate going to come through. Rise is back to dodge it out, but that's the... Shin Yuna now level 6. A flash Ooh, kick. Please. That's going to be a kill. On to Judge Box. Beautifully done from the fever substitute trying to fill in zombie shoes now epic fail guy he's got crescendo he's got calibrum can he figure it out here 3v1 under Wait, the turret the he's got one kill evil zara you've got tower aggro epic fail guy he's wrecking fever under the turret actually with next week's matchups it could be a little bit scary here but this is the engage Coinstar caught out the hero he's needed. He's holding out for cute Raichu to come in. The Zonia's Hourglass making it work. Coinstar falls. Cute Raichu trying to buy time for the rest of the team to join the engage. Skiz now looking support. to kite back. Providence hits the shockwave right on the ins and out. A huge taunt coming in. Cute Raichu finds two. He's getting the fight for no fear wolves. And when you do have to execute a really oh. Fight around the mid lane, but <laughs> just coming out from just joshing, trying to find an engage, but he is already dead to Galaki. Galaki in the back line, trying to find this one shot kill, already a double kill. On to the size and saturation again, not enough to find. Don't need to be forcing anything here in the bot lane as they do. Find the E down on the Karma Police, forcing out his flash immediately at Metapods. So tanky, just taking everything Ooh. from saturation. Amazing dodge there for Metapods. Now they're trying to turn this back around. Corporate and boy teleporting in. We are continuing this fight for as long as we can. Stand united. Five man up. Everyone having a party in the bot lane. TP. What? Paranoia. First king life. First kill down on to Risky. Flash. Oh! Three man all Meteor shows double kill down for first king. We just are not. Ziggs is a great champion, does a ton of damage, but doesn't make it to the right on two Wink and he gets the kill with the boss. Mana as well, random. Surely there's no way they steal this one. Oh my god, Jock is dead. dead. Please tell me they don't steal oh! it. It's stolen away oh! by random. Are you kidding me? You can't let that happen. AoE staying alive. That's huge. They have one priority over this Drake. Now coming down into the arena. Who flashed that fight? Certainly looking to make a way into this one. Just to Dawn taking a one for one on the other end of the fight. But Wait, it's stolen what? away by Bakal with a nice onslaught of Shadow oh. Steel. He's going to be left to die. Pack Sacks picking up that kill. Now they're moving forward. The charm's not going to connect onto many. It's only two, but it does not matter. Pack Sacks is hopping forward and hopping his way into a victory march. Everyone's TPing in. The initial engage does not find it from Wicklaw, so they'll have to walk away for Ooh. now. That's a massive solar flare onto the back line. <laughs> Look at everyone just evaporate and pongo of all members. It's the first one to drop. The shockwave will get a little bit more damage, but they don't have anything left in the tank. Their tanks are on empty, and so is Papa Francesco's health bar. For his entire life, as his teammates just dance around Wild Boomers, but now they might take down the fed top laner. Yeah, they're looking for the shutdown, looking for that extra oh cash God. influx, but who's trapped with who? Potato's got a double kill. Now he's going to be kicked back into the team, but oh Trinity doesn't God. want to be that close to range. He has to flash away. The lifesteal from the shield bow is just doing too much. Oh what my is God. this? Quadra kill from... It's a hide the hook, Lance, who goes in? The engage coming in, a huge unbreakable wall. The epic fail guy, a Sharif, a shuffle oh into God. the back line. Oh the fear walls are popping off by the dragon. They're picking up everyone. Evil Zara is taken down. Providence, the last man standing. And the substitute triple kill. Court start with the ace. We're going to see it here. This fight actually starts out very nicely for the side of Wyabu. You can see the flash away. The ulti coming out. Chain of Corruption stops them in this entire choke point. And Pongo looks totally fine. He's poked out pack sacks. It looks great. But then look on the top side at what happens here. Pongo, there's Potato. And there goes Pongo. Disappears in the blink of an eye. And once he's gone, there's just nothing left for this team. They have to run for the hills. But the follow-up, the Weaver's Wall from Rune Weaver is beautiful. Takes out the member running away. The wall cuts off Wicklehouse. It's That's a big steal on the Encore. St. Alcard's dancing with them. They're just waiting for the crash and there is the engagement smart pants both 
Encores go, and actually the damage kind of both ways. It looks like Kimberdaxon might get the better of this. Necrox will go down. That will be three for one. Uh, looking to go in as well. Fortato has the ultimate, can take away the Gnar. Very risky, and so look, just decides to turn. Blase is on the flank here, and it's going to be yet another pick going over there two go. gamers for God. Fortato is in here, though. Oh. Get the three man Gnar ult, but still it's going to be taken down by Josh. A lot of kills go back over to New Age Frost, though. Fight first. This Malphite ultimate, once it's up and available, is going to be the great team fight starter for Shadow Blade Slash. Now the Dragon's been started up. We have to see when is this team fight going to start. It's up and there it is. That's a three man Malphite ult, but the Leona ult for the counter is not going to do anything for them. Balthazar are already finding it. Kill there. That's going to be a double kill going over to Balthazar on this Kaisen, doing as much damage as he can. But Void Rifter says, No, I want to live. I'm trying to do as much damage, but that is. Can he be the king they need at this point? Smite steal this away. Let's see if he can do it. He does have a level advantage. Goes into the paint here. Gets he gets the it. steal. Age King. And he gets away with the Dark Passage as well. On top of all of that, New Age Frost are going to get a pick. Baby got mad, can't mess with us. Are afraid to make the enemy team half out. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, 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 that doesn't make the enemy team FF, that makes who flashed that fight FF. I, I protest this thing, is, this is the wrong answer to the right to the wrong problem. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, it's too funny. Oh man, that is incredible. I don't know who Jimmy is. Much happening, but a lot of the lanes are just kind of swinging in favor. And they might be looking to drop this first rook tail in the mid lane as well, trying to get a little bit more gold onto their mid and jungle. But Saturation is going to be finding a gank into this spot lane already. Both Earl Ultsbert trying to find his kill on Desire. Risky's able to find that. Galaxy trying to run underneath his oh. But that's going to be so oh. much CC. It's so hard to run away. But Sterling Archer is here for the counter gank. Over picking up a double kill for himself. That and looking for the ulti. Yeah, watch Cooper as well. He doesn't get rooted up. Instead, roots up Age King to main engage. While McShootums gets it pumped into the middle of the fight. It's Portato sent by that accesses the back line. Taking one with him as Puffles goes down. But Tooper, that shit is untouched. He uses the Gale Force to finish off a kill. And we set it up from the beginning. This Jin is your game winner. They could definitely oh. try to, and that is going to be the ult in the back line. But now Stubby is completely oh <laughs> alone. Do they actually one shot at him? And now it looks like they're going to be trying to flash into this back line here. But Evil Zara picking up that kill onto Nelson. But there is just oh, no Providence. way you can destroy Frosty as it is. He's going to go down. What? Frosty is dead. Providence finds the final shutdown song. Trying to continue this fight, looking for Debay here. That is another shutdown if they are able to find it. Rutledge staying alive as long as he possible. Finds that last chomp down on the Zara. Zara. Now it is just Evil Zara left. He's trying to.